Good morning everybody. Looks like it's gonna be a great day. 52 degrees out and the sun is burning at me. Really nice. Let's see what the solar panels are doing. There's a slight breeze, but turning at that slow speed won't be doing anything at all. So, what do we got here today? Um, 26 amps, which is 366 watts, and 5 amps on the Renogy. 13 and a half volts. The fridge, or the freezer is at 14 volts. So I'll turn that on again later for a period and bring that back down. We're looking good as far as power uh, goes today. The greenhouse is bright and sunny. I just opened up the curtains for the first time since it froze. Now we got the fishies going on in here. Got some more water. I want to let it try to warm up better. We got some fish in there. Chris has been caring for them. You can see a few. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight, nine. There's maybe nine, ten fish. Ten. There's one up here. Actually, he doesn't look very good. They're not very active in the cold weather. So I don't know if he's alive. Oh yeah, he's moving. Anyway, um, they're uh, they're in there. So they got plenty of oxygen and water and place to move now. That's all we got left. People kept asking about the fish. Um, Bedini motor is running. Let me put the ladder back in place here and put the camera on there. And we'll see what the status of that battery is. Because we might be able to switch out batteries soon. Okay. Let me see if I can get a measurement here. I'm going to go right into the Bedini device itself to check the battery reading. 12.8... What? 12.86? I'm sure you can see it better than I can. 12.86 volts. I'm going to let it run a little bit longer today and uh, bring that up a little higher. I want to see 13 volts or so before I shut that down. And as long as it's still climbing, then it's still taking a charge from the Bedini motor and uh, breaking up the lead sulfate on the plates, the crystals. The lead sulfate crystals are what cause it to not be able to function anymore. So I'll let it keep going. Guys, this is amazing. I've got 50 amps coming into the tiny house and wheels. Crazy, crazy, the highest I've ever seen. Um, I had an over voltage condition, so I turned on the freezer. I plugged in the freezer. I was getting a beep from the inverter, so I turned on the freezer. Now we're running, um, I've got my laptop on, and the internet is on. We have some little devices being charged, and Melanie's got the light on in the kitchen, but that's all minimal. And now the freezer. Wow! 50 amps is the most I've ever seen. So I had 20 here and 30 here on the uh, Renogy. Crazy, crazy high power. That's exciting. Wow, guys. Um, we have like sustained 15 mile an hour winds. Of course, now it, it's calming down as I record. We have sustained 15 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 20 and 30 miles an hour. Um, that's according to the weather station, and I believe it because it's been pretty breezy here today. Things are slamming all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 70 in the greenhouse almost. Pretty nice. I had all the curtains open, so it's warming up. That's good for the fish. And then. Well, you probably can't see that. The weather... Yeah, it dropped a little bit. It was nearing 60 degrees. It was 58. Uh, and it dropped a little bit. Oops, we got to raise the humidity inside the tiny house in Wales. Um, barometric pressure is dropping, so tendency is that we're going to have rain. And, oops, the wind died down a little bit. Hey, everybody. I am working on the... Magnet motor, the uh, Quanta Magnetics Q3, and I had to find a way to separate these magnets, these super high power Neil magnets, with more 
stability. And I looked on the, um, I forgot the name of the website, K and something or other, um, website who sells the magnets. And they showed how they use a magnet uh, separating device made of wood. So I made one. I ran out and took a piece of scrap 2x4, a scrap of peat flat uh, 1x4, and a scrap 1x2, and a bolt. And I cut a little notch in there. I made myself something like a bread cutter or a paper cutter. And now I can take my magnets and insert it in my magnet cutter. It still takes a lot of strength, an amazing amount of strength to cut this apart. And there we've got a magnet. Pretty cool. A very simple device. Especially if you're going to be doing this a few times like I am, then uh, it's worthwhile. Now I want to show you something I'm doing uh, based on the instructions from the website or uh, of the assembly manual uh, from Quanta Magnetics. When you put the magnets together, cut some paper towels in one inch square strips. You can't see my leg. Alright, I just cut a bunch of paper towels in one inch square strips, okay? And then I take my magnet case, the magnet cover, magnet holder, and I put a north on one side, an N for north, okay? And then I put a piece of paper towel inside there to stop any wobble that may occur with the magnet. Now I'm double checking, I have a compass here on the floor, which I showed you earlier. And I make sure that the south of the compass is pointing to the north of the magnet. And I pop it into the north labeled side of the magnet case. And then I take another half, put a piece of paper towel in there. Felix has to check everything out. Pop that together, nice and tight, won't be any rattle, alright? And then I'm going to insert that into my magnet motor half over here. You can feel the resistance between the magnets. Oh, Felix, stay down from there. Sorry, but now you have to stay away. All right, I've got three more magnets to separate. And as it gets down on the, the block, there would be no way I could separate these by hand. I, um, there's just no way. So I'm happy I have this little device here. As it is, it's it's getting harder and harder as I get down the the block. Okay, such a cool thing. All right, I'm going to continue on with these next ones. When I get to separating this uh, magnet, it'll be very interesting, I think. So we'll be back in a minute when I get to the last two magnets and see if I can separate them. You can tell these have been dinged up, and uh, before they were shipped to me, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit dinged up, but they're all intact, I guess. So we'll be back in a few minutes when I get to the last two and see how well my little device works. All right, guys, last two magnets. Let's see if I can separate these with my magnet separator with these. Last two magnets. It's going to be hard because there's no uh, nothing to hold on to now. Yep. Got it! Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Alright guys, well, there they are. All done. I'm going to put that uh, rotor assembly together. Hello? Hey, how's it going? What are we doing? Chop wood, hold up, shut the generator off. Chopping wood, you know, chop wood up, getting ready. Split some more wood tomorrow. Kindling. Yep. Kindling wood. That's all got to be used. Every bit of it. Yep. Got to process it at all. Process it all. Got quite a bit got uh, chopped up the last couple days. Yeah. That pile's growing nicely. Um. That's all the stuff does.
Hopefully, uh, yeah, it will be. This stuff will be ready next year. Yeah. Oh, we we did a lot of wood cutting this year. Yeah. Still got a lot to get, get, to do. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey guys, getting dark out there. I am inside, um, getting feeling back in my fingers. I took the bike down, and as someone suggested. And I had considered anyway, I took a backpack. I can carry two gallons of water on my back. Don't even feel it that way. I didn't check the mail because nobody had been out today. So I went and got the mail for everybody on my mini, mini bike. But oh, the water is cold, 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 cold. My hands are just, I don't know, they, they say that freezing to death is not a painful experience, but I think whoever said that didn't ever freeze to death because it hurts. <laughs> Especially when life comes back to him. <laughs> anyway, boy, that was cold. I did not wear my good waterproof gloves today, so. Anyway, I am warming up, and then I've got to go out and do some more stuff. It is cloudy tonight, so we won't see any things in the sky, if there is anything in the sky. Uh, some people had asked to check if I, w I go and check again tonight, but that is not going to happen tonight. <laughs> 